This one is going to take a little bit of explaining, so bear with me. Welcome to what I'm calling Crusader Kings 2 Dungeon Master. This is a mod I've been working on for the past couple of days that's designed to add kind of a new gameplay element to CK2 in the form of, of a Dungeon Master, a Game Master, a, uh, a Storyteller, an Omnipotent God, whatever you want to call it. A, a sort of powerful... A powerful individual who has control over what happens in the CK2 world at the roll of a dice. It could be anything, ranging from something incredibly mediocre to some, like, some trait changes, for example, to something massive, world-defining, world-changing events. I'm not going to spoil it, but this is where you guys come in. This is going to be kind of a multi-layered thing. This mod is not yet released on the Steam Workshop, but by episode 5, I'm hoping we can do that between us. I'm looking for suggestions from you guys for what to add into this. Crazy events that you'd like to see, ranging from, again, the sort of mediocre to the insane. I'm going to take whatever is the most upvoted comment on every episode, and I'm going to add it as an event to the, to, the, to the dice roll, to the tombola, that can get randomly picked and applied to the world. To any characters, it can be whatever you can think of. Don't limit yourself. I'll find a way to actually add it to the game. You just go crazy, and then we'll maybe talk about it if it needs to be talked about. I'm also going to be looking for the most well-designed suggestions in the comment section as well. Things that are unique, things that add a real nice twist to the game. Those will be going in to the mod also. So I'm going to look for whatever is the most upvoted and whatever I personally like the most. And I'll try and get a couple done every episode. By episode 5, we should have a mod ready for release. Now, the way I've designed this means that it is 100% multiplayer compatible. And to be honest, that was kind of what I wanted to do going into this. I wanted to make a really fun multiplayer mod that had some really weird elements to it. That way, say someone like me, who's got 4,000 hours in CK2, can play with someone with maybe who has 200 hours in CK2 and there's going to be an equal playing field because I might get screwed by the storyteller or they might get something incredible by the storyteller and there is going to be some difficulty aspects but i won't go too much into the the mechanics of that i want to show it off today so what i've done is i've made the mod happen every five years so that the, the the dungeon master will appear every five years and curse or bless the world with something new normally it's every 10 years but i decided just to show it off what's happened just to give you guys some ideas of what i'm looking for and to kind of hopefully inspire you guys that is on a five yearly basis so hopefully we'll see at least two or three before the end of this episode 15 years in an episode I might be a little bit optimistic in hindsight. Now, for those of you not interested in the CK2 monitor side of things, just here for the Let's Play, for you guys, don't worry about it too much, because I've also thrown together quite a fun mod pack to just give an interesting CK2 Let's Play, while we also have the Dungeon Master going on in the background here. We have some of our regular scheduled stuff, your, your, your Caesar's Wonders, which I've pretty much stick to constantly obviously flogies mod we've got some bloodlines mod but we have some new things that i wouldn't normally play around with one of them i'm really really looking forward to messing around with and that is the your custom heresy mod it essentially allows you to get a blank slate religion that you can do whatever you want with on reformation you can name it after whatever you want you can d design holy sites in game as much as you want it's a really well designed well implemented mod and i think that's really going to be something quite fun here now, one mod I did test out in a previous video, now I've already recorded a video with this mod pack and it was crap, so I've scrapped it, was with the Gods Extended. I decided that that mod didn't really suit what we were trying to do here, though that does look like a fun mod that we'll probably check out in a future series. So for today then, bear in mind the last time we played CK2, we were in uh, Morrowind, and the time before that, we were playing the Nityansha mod over in Japan. We're going to go for somewhere in Europe. Just this time. Oh, I didn't play Iron Century, because I haven't really touched much of the Iron Century, have I? Um... How about this for an idea? We could form the Holy Roman Empire. Because we've not only never played in the Holy Roman Empire, but we could form it ourselves. However, if we're using the custom heresy mod, we could actually make it a truly Holy Roman Empire led by our guy, who maybe the religion is named after. Like our family patriarch could be so legendary that his descendants revere him as a god. And we, we obviously name the religion after him or something crazy like that. That could be really, really fun. More importantly, it counts as a branch of Christianity, so it would be compatible with... Uh, well, not necessarily compatible, but it might be easier to convert people to our religious group. Bear in mind, we're going to have the same religion. We can also marry into our same religion group. That's the only problem with, say, using this mod over in India, as I assume you'd be limited in regards with your, um, marriages and things like that. Anyway, why don't we let the, uh, the, uh, in, in the spirit of the randomness, in the spirit of the Dungeon Master, why don't we let the game pick a random realm somewhere that would be feasible to form the HRE. So we're looking for Italy, Germany, France, somewhere around there. Um... Where's that? Silesia. Ooh, that one could be quite fun. Now look, his name, uh, Unidrog, does look very similar, at a glance, to Underdog. 
I'm in. Silesia is also independent as well, which could be uh, a problem. We're sandwiched between Germany and Poland there. This could be an interesting one. Forming the HR is an independent. We do start as a duke, even though we've only got a county. And we will customize him too. Let's go for it. Polish ethnicity? Fine, whatever. I don't really mind ethnicity so much. Religion is the only thing we really have to worry about if we want to do the custom heresy thing. And again, in the spirit of pure randomness here, let's see what the game's going to throw at us. Absolute Chad. Now. Perfect. Perfect. He's a bit plain, actually, isn't he? You know what? I want to make I want to make someone. I want to make someone extremely cursed. Why don't we go random... <laughs> Why don't we go random ethnicity and then hit the random button even after that point? Okay, how am I going to do this? I'll type all of these into a randomizer, and then we'll just pull up a random a random ethnicity, and then we'll hit the randomize button. All right, brace yourself. Here we go. Mesoamerican. Oh, my God. Okay. We're going to be an Aztec man in the middle of Poland. Well, not really in the middle of Poland. We're right on the border of Poland, but there we are. Uh, we are using the Better Looking Guards one as well. Now, I did try and put together a Steam mod collection to match the, the, the collection I'm using right now. Obviously, they won't have the Dungeon Master included yet. Um... Steam Workshop is not working. Is it ever fucking working? Well, right now, I can't even get onto it to upload a mod pack. So whenever that becomes available, I'll put all these mods into a mod pack. I'll put full credit, obviously, in the description as well. So make sure you go give those guys a like and a favorite and a playthrough and a download and whatever else you like to do. Okay. Pure random. Here we go. Boom. That's our man. That's our man right there. Uh, layout pagan. Uh, right, because we're Slavic religion. Okay, we're going to change religion then. We have to change religion to the old disorganized heretic religion. This is the religion that will allow us to fully reform it into whatever the hell we want. Um, it will be a branch of Christianity just by the design of the mod maker, essentially. Uh, but you can name it and basically reform it however you feel like. Now, because we've got some mods that do add difficulty, the Dungeon Master being the primary one, I've enabled six doctrines rather than three for it, just to give us a bit more of a... A bit more of a chance, especially bearing in mind that we are we have a blank slate religion that does nothing. So unlike Christianity, where we've got crusades that give you a crazy amount of gold, prestige, and artifacts, um, you know, excommunications, divorces, whatever else, we've got nothing to start off with here. And we're going to make enemies with all the pagans on our right and all the Christians on our left. So we need all the help we can get here. Um, culture, Polish? I mean, I don't see why not. I think I've ever played Polish culture before. Now, the only problem playing Polish culture is... Um, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I'm going to be pretty bad at pronouncing these names. Uh, so I'm just going to give him a name that is is safe for me to pronounce without offending anyone. Like that. I don't know any of those letters in that order. Given that we've got a dungeon master, and given that it's all been purely about random, why don't we call our characters after kind of someone's first time D&D &D character name? So like, uh, Flamefire the Magical. Okay, that's fucking terrible. But you kind of get what I'm getting at, right? Just just really horribly generic cliche fantasy names, I think, could fit in really, really, really well. I think our first guy needs to be a brilliant strategist. Because I think we are going to get bodied either side of us. Um, Maybe a strategist with some, like... Oh, God. What are we going to do here? And he's going to have to lead the armies himself. Because we're not going to much to... Because for, like, organizer, I think, is really, really necessary. Uh, let's go cynical. Let's go arbitrary. And let's go deceitful. Bear in mind, our guy is a, a heretic, an old disorganized heretic, believes what he basically wants to believe. So I feel like arbitrary, cynical, and deceitful are, are all well on brand. Let's go lustful. We are going to have to give this guy some bonuses, I think, because we are already on a very, very difficult start point. Um, shit, I mean, what about like tactician or something, plus six marshal. Just go pure into the marshal game. Okay, fine. He's also tall. Um, right, so he's 29. What else can we give him here? Uh, let's give him Novice Fighter for free. Bear in mind, that's kind of his starting combat trait anyway. And let's throw him a... Shit, this is really hard. I don't even know where to begin. Um, what about, like, Stressed or Wounded? Wounded probably wouldn't hurt. Uh, Stressed is minus 14. Wounded is minus... I mean, Stressed is better. As long as we can kick it quite fast. Well, I mean, Wounded heals automatically. And it's three age different. Okay, let's go Wounded then. That gives us a bit of, of playing around room. I want to get strong, ideally. Tall, strong, mighty warrior. 43. Oh, fuck. Uh, stressed and wounded? Fuck it. Let's do it. The big gamble. This is incredible. Namegenerator.org. We've got perfect... It says here, perfect fantasy name. How can I argue with that? What was his first name? It's like Boris Slab, right? Um, I'm going to just type in Boris. Perfect fantasy name. We, we can base it on a human name, and it's going to be based on Boris. And that's going to be our dynasty and our character's first name. And we can go from there. Suggest me some names. Uh, it suggested Nancy... Nancy Wagner? 
<laughs> Done. Uh, what the fuck? How can I argue with that? Pure RNG for the names as well. Nancy? High Chief Nancy? I don't know if I like that. Okay, fine. Oh, I forgot to customize his fucking flag, didn't I? Because we changed religion. Oh, wow. Um, right, so we are using Patrum Scooter this time around, which gives us just a frightening amount of... Just a frightening amount of, of flags. Uh, oh, it adds 63 emblems. Okay, okay. Let's make up a basic background for the flag and then throw some emblems on it instead. You know what? These are quite good. I, I like some of the... What is that? Just like a random half half a bird. Get a random half bird. Okay, we've got all sorts of different colored lions there. Uh, man, this is a hard choice. I like these ones because they fit the... They, they fit the kind of color scheme we're going for. Not that we're going to stick with the, the, the kind of yellow and black background at all. Uh, this is fucking hard. The magic snake. I like the magic snake. Uh, there's nothing. Oh, there we are. Magic snake. And then we'll go for the... The rampant griffin. I like that. And then we'll go for... <laughs> this is gonna look like shit. I like half an eagle. That's also fantastic. And then over on this one, their friend, the mighty... Uh, have you got any other animals that we don't... That aren't, like, really horribly stereotypical? Can we get, like, a pig or something? Um, the dragon. It's phenomenal. And it, it could be a real flag. That's the important thing. We've got ourselves a color scheme. It's a shame you can't randomize the, uh, you can't randomize the flags, can you? I'm not going crazy there. No, that'd be so cool if you... <sighs> Change of plan. I'm keeping it simple this time around. Nancy Wagner and her, his big, massive snake. We are old, disorganized heretic. Culture is Nahua. No, no, no. We want to change that to, uh, po Polish, Polish, Polish. There we go. Okay. This is, this is the best character we've ever come up with. Are we good? It's working this time. Fantastic. Now, we do have quite a sizable mod pack. As I said, we've got things like Viet, which we've seen in When the World Stopped Making Sense. I believe we also saw it in one of the playthroughs of HIP. We've got uh, all sorts of... Uh, I mean, LMM's mods are insane. They are really, really nice for a little bit of flavor here and there. We've, of course, got the Orders of Chivalry. We've got the Great Trade League. We've got all sorts of crazy stuff. Flogies. Again, I'll, I'll do a full mod list at the bottom. If you're interested in the rules we're playing, there they are. Um, feel free to follow those. If you, if you want to pause it and play along, follow those ones. Let's do it. I'm excited for what this series is is going to hold for us. Now, Dungeon Master then. Like I said, whatever is the top comment, whatever is the most well designed, I'll grab from this, throw it in for tomorrow. But it is purely random. So we could get, at this point, something horrendous. You know, we might fire it off immediately and end up with something completely crippling. We might end up with something awesome. So I think, bear in mind, it's, it's kind of in the spirit of things, I think, to fire it straight away. You do get the option for multiplayer compatibility of, of waiting a little while so that everyone's obviously set up and ready to go. However, when we click this, the first event will fire immediately. So I think, in the interest of fairness, rather than just sitting here and turtling up and getting married and having kids, whatever else, let's just fucking fire it. Mortals, it is time once again for my influence to help shape the world. Brace yourself for the mediocre or the insane. The unbalanced or the overpowered random number of the day is seven. Brace yourselves. Here we go, team. The dungeon master rolls his dice. Oh. <laughs> So I went to the community and I asked for and, and I asked for basically suggestions for add to this. I went into Discord last night. I was like, look, look, throw me some events. Great suggestions, and I've added a good fair few of them. This was one of the few events I myself added. It's no secret that the dungeon master, like most dungeon masters, is an incredibly lonely and isolated man living out his fantasies by controlling the lives of characters all day for his sadistic enjoyment. I just wish I could have a family of my own, says the dungeon master with a solemn sigh. Wait a minute. That's it. This is, uh, the old father, right? Patrician Pasqualis of Sorgo. I'm just gonna mark him a special interest. As you can see, this is one of my favorite events. I actually really like this one. Uh, this man is, is now gonna go around and he's gonna impregnate every ruler's wife. All of them. All of them all at once. Uh, not so many that it crashes the game. Uh, I don't really care about that too much. Just, just wait nine months, and you're going to see something pretty impressive happen with this dude. Anyway, <laughs> I'm, I'm really glad that we got a fun event to start off with, not, not like a crazy one. Nothing that would affect us too much. Okay, we can breathe a sigh of relief. Now, because we've activated that, every five years now, the Dungeon Master will roll his dice. Like I said, in the full mod, it's probably going to be ten years. Maybe I'll even do it as a game rule or something like that. Well, we need to start working on our dynasty, because I feel like the Dungeon Master might have it in for us if we're not careful. Let's go. 
Grimanair. Let's go seduction focus. Let's find a woman to invite to court, seduce her, then marry her. As I've talked about before, that does give that invisible fertility bonus. So let's go for... What do you think? Should we, should we start big? Go big or go home? Prodigy. Uh, women. There's none. There's none within Diplo range anyway. Shit. Uh, genius. Genius women. There are two. She is, however... Married? Okay. Uh, strong. We've already got strong. Let's try and double down on it then. Who have we got? Uh, we've got Constanz. Let's go married and no as well. That would probably help out. And then obviously Diplo range, yes as well. Right. So we've got Danila. She's 50. A little bit. I mean, she's good. Constanz is good because she's got strong and Midas touch. But we've also got down here, uh, Sharina, who is lustful and strong. Let's try her. Invite to court. No. She's got a, a, a relatively low opinion of High Chief Nancy, but she's got an even lower opinion of Count Thankmar. No reason to move base reluctance. Well, let's go for... Let's go and seduce her. Now, one of the cool mods we've got is you can invite people to court with promises, which I think is a fantastic system. I always said CK2's diplomacy doesn't have the flexibility of, say, Stellaris or EU4 or anything where you can negotiate. This mod seems to add a system of doing that. Now, I don't know how it works at all. This is the first time I'm ever experiencing this. Let's see what this what we can offer her. We can offer her a council position if we invite her to court. Okay. And then if we invite her, she'll say she'll say no. Okay. Um, grant council position. Yeah, I think that's all we can... Invite with promises. There you go. Invite consent to your court with the following promises. Grant council position. She'll say no. Uh, I would like her to be on a higher tier council. So she's up for that because he's a count and we're a duke. Okay, fair enough. This is a really well-designed mod. Uh, opinion of thank my Nancy. Base reluctance minus 50. We need her to like us more. I'm just going to send her a gift. Has that helped? Um, how about now? Still not. Oh, come on. Um... We could start seducing her. I'm, I just worry that she's going to get married before we're able to get to her. Uh, I carefully place words. What they can easily be overheard by a notorious go gossip can be more effective than a love letter. Go. Oh, God. Pasqualis Sorgo is now known as the unchaste. Pasqualis. <laughs> He's made a lot of rivals. Oh, it is supposed to be rulers' wives. Um, I've quite clearly fucked something up. But he was actually not caught by many of them then. He wasn't caught by... It was only caught by a few of them. Oh, God. That's a that's a child. That's a married child. Oh, that's one of the base game... Yeah, it's one of the base game characters, isn't it? It's one of the rare characters that are married when the game starts off there. Okay. I sent Constance a beautiful necklace. Today, I found my bed full of wilted petals. Oh. Constance. Oh, God. It's a five-year pulse, and we've just... Oh, shit. Okay. So, now, from this event, it'll be five years. L don't worry about it. It's, it's a weird system. Mortals, it is time once again to influence the shape of the world. Brace yourselves. So it'll be a random five years from when the game starts, and then it also fires it on the decision. So this is our random five-year one, and then after that, it will be every five years following. What's this one? Oh, shit. You with your fancy chairs and castles, you make rules for other people and don't follow them yourselves. It makes me sick playing with people's lives like that. Well, we're taking away the rules. Morality is out the window. Do whatever you want. Good luck with your squishy moral existence. It's an equal playing field. You're telling me people have just stopped caring? All landed rulers become morally flexible. Arrests and plots will be far easier for the next year. This was a suggestion by Slippy Nips, friend of, friend of the channel and patron and member of the Discord, Slippy Nips, who suggested The Purge. So here we are with The Purge. Now, I did originally have this run for a year, and after testing, I decided it wasn't impactful enough. So now it runs for five years. For five years, everyone gets massive bonuses to their arrest chance and plot power. Now, for us, this isn't a big deal. But if you were playing in the Byzantine Empire, for example, or under the HRE, and you made some enemies, you could be pretty fucked by this because you'd be arrested and destroyed pretty fucking quickly. We actually got quite lucky. That's one of the negative ones that doesn't really affect us all positive, depending on how you see how you play it. Are we winning her over yet? Uh, it's Pasqualis. Has he had any kids yet? No, not yet. Um, where's our lady that we're... Where did she go? Hello? Uh, Constance? Oh, it didn't... Oh, oh, we stopped... Oh, I didn't swear. I just started seducing her. What a fool. Uh. I'm hearing tales of the barbarian warlords who attacked Rome generations ago. Attila, of course, is the most famous, but others were known, such as Alaric, who sacked Rome yet died soon after, or Genseric, who transformed the Vandals into a Mediterranean power, or the ambitious Odessa, who threw the last Western Roman Empire, Romulus Augustus. Uh, let's go for... 20% martial... Oh, we got 20% chance of one martial, one stewardship, one diplomacy, one intrigue. Um, I mean... Attila was like the coming of the apocalypse. Like Nancy. They always say Nancy was the bringer of the apocalypse. Do it. We actually fucking got it. The power of Attila. Hasn't responded, but it's not a bad thing. We're doing fine. 
I need another tactic. Come on, come on, come on. Win her over. <gasps> I shall have her. We attracted her. Yeah, invite to court, invite to court, invite to court. Uh, she's still not up for it. Just invite to court. We can't because she's a council member. <gasps> Fuck. I didn't consider that. Um, I mean, we can invite her to court if she's a council member. It's just that she is part of a... She's part of the German revolt. Um, confess my love. Okay, she stammered a runoff. That's fine. It means that we're up to the we're up to the finish line here. I need another tactic. She's in prison. Motherfucker. No, 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 no. Why is she in prison? Otto of Germany. Because she was a council member? She might be released. Just, just keep an eye on her. Just keep an eye on her. I don't really care about China right now. I'll be frank. Come on. We gain fatigue. We could have married by now. We could have freaking married by now. Oh, come on. I'll pay a ransom. Big's pass and your sunny court position keeps talking about his religion. He's even claiming that the greatest could grant you health and long life. Time to light the fire. Unbelievable. We're trying to start a religion. Worshipping ourselves. And this guy comes in and tells us to worship someone entirely different. Okay, now we need a... <laughs> Downside to that is, of course, I should really set up the council before we start blitzing through... Blitzing through time trying to seduce a random German woman. Um, let's go ahead and set up a new court position. No valid candidates. Why am I not surprised? She is the only unmarried strong woman. We've got her. She's 36, though. She is strong. That's so frustrating. Okay. Uh, let's go genius. There's no genius unmarried women. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, quick. Please, I'll settle at this point. Wow, she's so good. Oh my god, she's insane. Oh, it's off the wilds. They're all off the wilds, women. Um, right, okay. So we go for Stoyanka. Uh, would you come to court? Yeah, okay. I'll grant you a council position. She will not. Minus 15, though. Okay, there's a chance with this one. Send her a gift. Uh, invite to court. Buy a favor from her. It is possible. Do it. Do it. Bring her on board. Yes. And invite to invite invite to court. Boom. There we go. Now she is someone else's lover. That doesn't matter. You know, we've used him as a means to an end here. To my religious conversion, you will worship your boy, Nancy. <laughs> and done. The old disorganized heretic. There, there are dozens of us. There's at least two of us right now. Pope somewhere quaking in his boots. Um, I'm also going to make you designated region. I'm also going to make you master of the horse. Uh, I'm just doing anything I can to make her like us. Then when we finish with the seduction, we'll, we'll marry her after that point. Um, leave her a note to meet me by the stream. She said no. <gasps> She's Pergonan. Fuck. Uh, leave her a note to meet me by the stream. I don't give up that easy. To be fair, it could have been that Italian guy. Speaking of which, he's only got four kids out of it. He's only got five kids out of it. What? What happened? Uh, he didn't even... But he's his rival, but didn't have a wife? What the fuck's going on there? Um, his wife had a child. Bastard. Oh my god, he didn't recognize them. So he only legitimized five of his kids. Wow. So he's got Bessar Sorgo, Bodil Pasquale's daughter, whatever that says, Scully Pasquale's son, I'm Frey Sorgo. <laughs> he's got Croatian... Norse, uh, Mongol, German. What a mixed bag. Good for him. That wasn't, he, he got away with that, to be fair. He really did get away with that. And as a merchant republic, that's only done him a favor. What do you think she'd be into? Confess my love. Fetch was strong with this one. Fuck, come on. Quote love poetry. We got her. Yes, let our love grow. Okay, wait for her to have this baby be formed. Let, let the birth, let the birth finish. Then we'll marry her. Who did I just say I sacked one of our, oh shit. That was not what I was expecting. An old wound is like creating impact. No, 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 no. A son was born, right? We don't care about. We don't care about that, right? Arrange marriage. Uh, her to her to Nancy. Boom. Uh, do you want to take the prestige? I think we need to take the prestige at this point. Oh, good God! This character has an infection. Looks and smells bad. What can I do about that? Uh, how long till we can change focus to like hunting would be the most beneficial? Uh, two years. Fuck. Can we maybe invite a? Uh, med medicine man? A physician? Court physician? Where's my court physician option? We're tribal? Okay. Uh, fuck. This could, this could be a problem. I won't lie. Uh, well, let's just go ahead and invite a priest. We can't. We don't have the piety. Ooh! Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't panic, don't panic. Reset. Join court, preferably. Cert by high learning. You'll do. Uh, join me. Tornik. Help me, Tornik. I'm dying. Welcome. Uh, court physician, court physician. And Tornik. There we are. Okay, hopefully he'll stop us dying 
kind of horribly within the first 30 seconds here. We also need to make sure our, everybody loves us. Oh, wait, there's a Court Blacksmith title as well, which is a genius suggestion. Um, I guess we'll go for Underdog there. Steward is so lazy. Yeah, he'll do. And then Commander Malagost. Okay. Um, now we just got to pray that we don't fucking die. My wife is pregnant, but I'm away, wasn't I? She broke up with the other dude. <gasps> she loves us so much that she broke up with the other guy. Uh, what happened? Did his... Oh. Because he wouldn't legitimize the child. So I guess it, it pushed a wedge between them. So this one is most likely actually our guy's kid. Bear in mind, he is, he is deceitful, arbitrary, cynical. Um, I trust a word. I trust a word. Look, if it comes out strong, I don't really care whose kid it is. <laughs> what could work, Nancy? <laughs> Daughter. Uh, what's she like? Boring. Ah. Oh. Okay. Get me my fancy name generator. If it's anything like Nancy Wagner, we're in. Okay. Joe Russell. Joe fucking Russell. That's the name of like a, 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 an English reality TV star. You'd see that man on the Only Way is Essex. Get out of here. Suggest me a good name. These are all real person names. Oh my god, I'm a fool. Th th okay, so it says, would you like to base the name on a human name? I hit the suggest button, which is just human names. I didn't hit the generate fantasy name. I've been using a, a human, a real life human being name generator, which is not quite as impressive. Okay, let's try that again. Right, we're going to start with Nancy then as our human name. Write me some fantasy names. Oh, here we are. Nanblex. That's fantastic. Nanblex. Meet Nancy's daughter, Nanblex. Nanblex Wagner. Um, wow, that one is actually quite good. I'm, I'm quite impressed. Uh, we're going to train you in... Ooh, I don't really know. This would just go duty. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Hi, Chief Nancy has given up the ghost at the age of 32. He died of an infected wound. Well known to be prone to cardinal sins. He was often unfaithful to his wife. A wicked man. Nancy will surely pay for his sins in the after. Firstly, firstly, he never once was unfaithful on uh, with his wife, I'd like to point out. He never once cheated on his wife. Now we are playing as the zero-year-old High Chief Nan Blacks. Fucking hell, what a story. A legendary tale of the mighty High Chief Nancy. Came down from the heavens, impregnated a woman on the other side of the planet, and then left as soon as he appeared, leaving behind only a single child. High Chief Des Namblex of Silesia. What a story. And oh my god, are we in trouble now. This is, this is so screwed. <laughs> um, how are we allowed a court chaplain? Oh, he's one spawned in randomly. Oh my god, Vladis is terrible, though. Vladislav is garbage. Amateurish plots are just... Fuck. Okay. Go on, then. Let's start proselytizing as best we can. Build the legend. Build the legend of, of, of Nancy. Nancy, the fallen angel, the slain. Nancy, the erratic might be the best word for it. Nancy the Erotic in some... Okay, uh, let's go for... Organize a raid. We, we can have the raiders doing things while we wait for baby Nanblex to grow. Uh, and you can perform statecraft. Fucking hell. Please, for the love of God, perform some statecraft. Let's get Tornik, our court physician. Uh, we're going to send him deep into the heart of... I guess Byzantium? Just to go and steal some technology there. Wow. I don't think we've ever had a series start quite this turbulent, have we? What a mess. Idle council members, who have we got? Our cartographer, you can go on standby. Um, set crown focus. Sure, why not? We are technically still a duke. What are we the duke of? A few buildings. I don't know if we're allowed to call ourselves a duke, to be honest with you. And then we get to nominate our successor as nobody. Our mother is going to take control at this point. Great. Hi, Chief Namblex. Your court chaplain, Val Vladislav, was killed by heathens while trying to spread the holy faith. Hear ye the mighty tale of Nancy shall be known far and wide. Brilliant. What a fucking joke. Okay, give me some... 
I'm going to mark that special interest because I feel like it's probably going to be quite relevant as we go through here. Constantly recruiting new priests, huh? Guardians. I mean, our mother's not a bad guardian. Diligent, quick. Those are both bonuses. Gregarious, too. Um, I very much doubt we can... Uh, so we're looking for patient, diligent. I mean, he's not bad. Let's see if we can invite some characters to court who might be good educators. Let's go reset or just join court. Let's go any because I'd be willing to do the bribe on that. Not that we can afford it right now. Uh, Diplo range, preferably. Ruler, preferably not. Uh, and in prison, preferably not as well. So you want, like, patient, diligent, genius is the best combination. Technically, patient, diligent, shrewd, genius would be the best combination. But the chance of that happening is basically impossible. Um, so let's genius plus patient or diligent is the next best one. So genius, patient. There is a man. He is not willing to come to our court. Uh, what about genius, diligent? Nobody. Um, let's try quick, patient, diligent. There is somebody. Umfreda, the spy master of Evro. Uh, shit, I mean, wants to say my love of Count Osmond. Yeah, that's the only problem with trying to recruit of the Wilds woman. Okay, I'm going to stick them for, with, with our mother, who is an of the Wilds woman. Um, so sign Guardian, because she's already pretty good, right? So we're probably not going to miss out on too much. Besides, we should really just take what we can get at this point. Uh, yeah, diligent, quick. That's fine. That was going to be my next search term anyway, so... so We've already got it. Elige, the people of Constantinople has progressed up beyond our own technological level. They have a magical thing called fire. Hail Nancy. Hail Nancy, my spy master Tornik. Thank you for the good news. One day we'll have fire as well. And then we burn these heretics. Burn whoever killed my core chaplain. So, hopefully you guys have an idea of things that I'm looking for with regards to Dungeon Master. And just to reiterate, I'm looking whatever is the top comment. So if you go through and find one that you like... Give it a like in the comment section. That'll not only help me find it more, but we'll use that as a voting system as well. That way I get a feeling for what you guys are interested in. So that hopefully it'll be the best mod possible. So I'll go whatever is the top of vote. And I'll also look for ones of the best design as well. I'll maybe pick a couple a day. Thank you for watching. All hail mighty Nancy. Taken before his time. And a thank you, of course, to those who allowed Nancy to exist, even for e the brightest stars burn out the earliest. And that was, of course, Nancy, without which we would not have Nancy. Those people are the patrons. Thank you to Scary Scurvy, Ben Hoffler, Nostra, Slickback, Crane Fixer, Oregon, Scaz, Felpy, Boop, Anthony Gawley, Goatfather, Chris, Wengun, Kanan Carter, Amethyst, Krona, Zetlock, and Commissar Taj for their support at the Insane Tier levels on Patreon. Along with, of course, everyone else at the Insane Tiers for making the channel possible in the first place, for making it possible for me to sit around and make stinky, stinky mods. Thank you to... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you as well to Flom, Lazarus, William H, Simba, Derek F, Sam Kears, Justin Plock, Joseph Beer, Madge DeMillison, Moon Ray, Archbishop, Proximity Jones, Matteo, and Arjie Dumas for their support over at Patreon. Thank you, everybody, for, for your support. Hail Nancy.